Hi Capricorn, this is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Show me. Hope you guys had a happy birthday. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Two of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Capricorn, you guys have this soulmate connection. This is your babe. Clarify the Two of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Two of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Two of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Capricorn, listen. You're telling me that, hey, you know, this could be new love, okay? You just have the soulmate connection going on here. It's, uh, perfectly splendid. Listen, you can tell me that you guys are starting over, okay? You guys are soulmates and starting over. However, you can tell me that your soulmate has new love. We'll see. Listen. Capricorn, you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Capricorn, you're all up in your head, a little worried, stressed, anxious. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Capricorn, listen, you know, you can tell me that you're all up in your head worried about whether or not you can trust, whether or not you should have your guard up, whether or not you should stand your ground here. So it has you kind of all up in your head, just uh, stressing a little. Hmm. Maybe worrying about whether you should go for it, you know, be persistent here. Capricorn, you have yourself, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with you, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back. However, you could be trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're trying to muster the strength and courage to maybe break up with someone. And it could be someone you have a commitment with here. This is a couple here, okay? So you may be trying to break up because you have new love, a soulmate energy here, okay? It's just... I feel like you just all up in your head and trying to figure out what to do. However, you can tell me that your soulmate has new love and you guys have some type of commitment. And this is the reason why you guys are breaking up because you simply don't trust Capricorn. You have the two of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Capricorn, listen, you're telling me that you're trying to decide here, trying to pick a path. Clarify the two of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the two of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the two of wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Very well could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Capricorn, there's some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Capricorn, listen, you know, something could be happening quickly here with some type of confrontation. You can tell me that you guys 
are having this heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another with this confrontation. However, someone could be being confronted over communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. And is someone becoming a daddy here? Because in tarot, this brand new blessing could be a baby. I'm just putting that out there, okay? So some type of heated discussion or argument that puts you at a crossroads as to what you want to do here. And I feel like the argument is over maybe them having new love. You have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the High Priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that, yes, you're not speaking to this person right now because of the argument. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you're keeping a secret. Hmm. Clarify the High Priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the High Priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the High Priestess for Capricorn. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. You know, you can tell me that you're happy. However, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck, like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Capricorn, what I see is you can tell me that you feel like something was illuminated, something came to light about your partner. This soulmate of yours may have no love and you're blocking them. You guys had an argument here. You guys broke up here. You simply don't trust. However, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck. You're trying to use your intuition and you want to be happy, but you're feeling stuck. And you need to make a decision between two. Okay, I feel like you're being confronted because it's coming out that maybe you have someone else. This is something that you tried to guard or keep under wraps here, but you have to break up with someone. You're mustering the strength and courage to break up with someone because you may have a soulmate connection with someone new. Capricorn, this is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week.